Hey YouTube, this is Rishika again. This would be my 10th video tutorial on data stage and probably a 4th video tutorial on uh, parallel jobs. So yeah, in my previous videos, uh, two videos, I mean while we were dealing with database stages, I dealt with ODBC connector and uh, or Oracle connector in my previous two videos. So yeah, in this video, I'll be just no properties and nothing in detail just like overview of uh, db2 database and the teradata with its like little uh, little like utilities and all that stuff let's get into this then so let's db2 connect i mean db2 when you hit on this drop down list you see db2 connected and db2 enterprise but when you go to server job you have multiple uh, over there you have connector api and load see every stage has like api stage connector st connector stage and load stage so yeah it's slightly different from parallel and uh, server uh, so basically uh, db2 we have connector stages uh, as i was telling in my previous video that the connector stages use their own native driver for each stage so the connection retrieval and loading and writing is faster so yeah it's always good to use connector stages if you have them and the other stage is API stage which we have seen in server jobs that API stage uh, basically we can access to access DB2 data from uh, server data state server job and the other one is enterprise stage yeah it's it's pretty uh, it's enterprise stage is, uh, is pretty much same as this uh, parallel job but but they there need to be some configuration and all that uh, all that stuff need to be done uh, when you're using enterprise stage and the other thing is load stage if you remember in my previous video i said that load stages are the only i mean load stages are used only as a target stages because obviously we just need to load the uh, target so those are just used for writing purposes so that's it and now uh, getting into the connector the pro i'm sorry the properties are pretty much same as oracle c username server and i don't know, i mean uh, everything like code identifiers and all that isolation level and all that yeah if you want to know all that uh, just uh, refer to my previous video on oracle connector it's pretty much same and you need not worry just dump your columns here and that's it so yeah let me just give uh, what is db2 basically this db2 connector stage provides like a single way i mean a, a way to connect with the ibm basically db2 uh, state db2 database is ibm's database so yeah this connector provides as a way to connect to that ibm db2 database so yeah using this db2 connector stage you are pulling from the ibm that uh, you you are pulling data from the ibm db2 database so yep that's it and yeah using this you can have like a uh, read write functions and have like reject links so the same as this reject links see and when you convert it to stream nope and when you convert it to reference nope yep so it's pretty much same as oracle stage so yep that's about the db2 uh, db2 connector stage uh, yeah basically you can have like uh, you can handle the rejected data and you can just uh, import the metadata in the column section and yeah that's it that's pretty much about the dbt stage so so let's now go to the teradata stage so teradata stage is it's it's, it's like basically uh, one of the important databases when you're designing the data warehouse whenever like uh, they say the development uh, I mean whenever the project is like a development project or building a data warehouse project so that's when this I mean uh, yeah a few people uh, use Oracle and other stuff but yeah whenever they need to build like a very uh, large data uh, large data warehouses and all that they go for Teradata I mean they usually opt Teradata so similar to other databases Teradata is also can be I mean Results can also be used to read, write, or look up, uh, or perform lookup, and then have like uh, basically we can have also reject here, reject links. See, we can have also reject links, and let's save it. No, nope. so all the connector stages they have only one stream output, and all other outputs must be the reference links. And the other most important thing about the con any connector stage is that 
it can be read or write at one time it cannot it cannot do a uh, same i mean it cannot do two uh, both at the same time it cannot read and it cannot write so yep this is a passive stage and yeah connector uh, properties you need not really worry about the properties but yeah i need to tell uh, three i mean basically when when they ask about the kind of uh, teradata they basically focus on utility stuff so yeah there are multiple utilities but utilities but i am focusing only on three utilities as of now because it's it's pretty uh, it's these are the pretty basic and uh, yeah you need to know this uh, just just a brief idea so yeah uh, teradata utilities are basically uh, three types as i said multi load fast export and t pump utilities multi load t pump t as in tom and pump okay and fast export these are the three different different utilities in data stage so a uh, fast export is like a uh, fast export is like basically uh, you can have uh, it's the name says it, you, you're just a bulk bulk data is being transferred you're just loading all the bulk data into the into your empty table so yeah that's it uh, that's it but you can you can uh, you can have your own user defined sql statements and then uh, load it into that so that's that's a fast export so yeah that's a fast export i mean uh, basically what i'm trying to say is whenever you have like the table is empty and you want to load all the stuff into that yeah you go for this you opt this fast uh, fast load or fast export utility and then coming to the uh, multi load multi load is like a uh, multi load or uh, when you choose multi load utility it means that whenever uh, there are like huge number of upsets or uh, upsets in the sense inserts and updates so that's pretty much uh, combined together and called upsert so yeah whenever you have like inserts updates or delete functions i mean lot of them need to do on a table or any other thing so yeah that's when that's when you use uh, this multi load or m load utility so yeah even even in this you can handle like multiple sql statements in just a single operation and you can have your own user defined sql statement the third one is t pump t pump is same as multi load but when we have like uh, only a few number of upsets or inserts and updates and deletes are to be done on a table yeah then you can uh, then you can have like this t pump utility, utility to be uh, chosen you can pro yeah similar to all those you can have your own uh, user defined sql yeah you can have like complex operations and you can have you can handle all i mean like multiple sql operations in just a single st uh, whenever you have an empty table and you you are dumping the data just i mean whole data is being dumped from source to the target that's when you use a uh, fast load fast load or fast export so you're just make make sense with the term fast export you're just um, dumping the whole data fast fastly uh and exporting the data from the source to target right so yeah that's fast export and the second one is multi load multi load multi multi means many right so yeah just remember that whenever they say multi load utility so you can say that whenever there are like huge number of updates or inserts or delete functions or upsets has to be done on a table yeah so then i choose multi load utility on teradata and yeah uh, t pump when a uh, t pump is similar to multi load but whenever like uh, have like only few uh, a you know, few operations few inserts updates or delete functions has to be done on a table yeah so that's when uh, i use t pump utility so yeah medium level of upsets and inserts uh, those things are done on t pump okay yeah that's pretty much about this uh, teradata and yeah you you really need not worry about the other utilities like uh, btech and all of the things but yeah you need not really worry about that i thought not to discuss these things uh, but yeah I, i didn't i didn't want you to uh, i mean i didn't want myself to just skip uh, what i'm not comfortable with so i just uh, gave a brief idea 
the oracle connector is like uh, whenever we have our own uh, data stage designer and all that yeah you can practice the oracle connector because you can have like just sql uh, sql downloaded on your uh, system personal system and can have like established connection with the oracle and yeah that's pretty easy right so that's the reason i gave all the information with the oracle that's about the databases uh, database stages so yep that's all uh, that's all we are done and development or debug stages i'll deal with them but uh, in the last because I, i'm just uh, completing the important stages I'll now uh, I'll, in my next video I'll start with the file stages and then go for the processing. Once we are done with this file stages and processing stages, then I'll go for development or debug and restructure stages. And once we are done with all these, uh, of course I need to tell container in this too, right? Yeah. Once I tell uh, all this, once I finish with all this, yeah. Now uh, I mean then I gonna. Uh, I'm gonna start quality stage just quality stage we have only probably nine stages yeah ten stages so yeah you need not worry about that it's pretty simple so that's all guys that's all in this video uh, it's pretty it's pretty short video straightforward video I didn't want to uh, get into much more details with the database stages so in my next video I'll be probably dealing with a data sets it guys thank you so much thank you so much for watching thank you